Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick clay little demo thing that I saw and I thought was absolutely cute and adorable and we are going to do it now. Okay, first what you want to do is roll out a piece. I'm using white clay. Just white polymer clay. You can tell it's my scrap clay. Got a little whatever in there. And I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and I'm going to, which this is what I do when I do my drawings, my little Halloween little cute little guys. I take it and I cut it in half, rip it in half, what have you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that on there for a second and kind of give me a general idea of how big the clay is. And you'll see why in a second. Then I'm just going to lay my flattened out clay there. And you, you know, you don't want it too flat. You want it, you know, so when you bake it, you have a nice piece of something. Um, or uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So you can see generally, and you know, when we have white, we can't see a dang thing on here, but I'm going to move a little closer. And what I have now is a stencil and you can use any stencil you want. The bigger, I, I would say a little bigger holes, the better. You don't want nothing too, too small, but I mean, you know, once you try it with the bigger ones and then you find yourself comfortable and you know, you want to use smaller stencils then be my guest. So I'm going to kind of lay this in the middle of where I try to get as much of the stencil on there as I can. And this is actually a stencil that is in the glass section and it's a little sticky on the one side. Um, but you can use any stencil you have. I wanted to pull out all my flower ones and do flower, you know, flower, but um, I'm not going to do that right now. Next, I'm going to use these I get. These are called Pebbles Incorporated. These are chalk. And I get these at AC Moore. And as you can tell, I dropped mine. Um, they come with these, um, like, I call them roach clips. But they're kind of like these little clippy things on the end. I can't find my other two sets I have, of course, because I was looking for them. But it really doesn't matter because you're going to understand what I'm doing. So pick the colors that you want to use. These come with, like, these little cotton balls. If you have... Um, like a Pearl X brush or a paintbrush, you know, like a stiff paintbrush or whatever, you can definitely use that. I'm just going to hold my finger and just use this. And I'm going to use these and um, pick different colors. And I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it in my green first. And you want your clay to be raw. We're not even getting to that part yet. And what you do is just go on and start coloring. It would be easier if I had to piece, but you want to keep coloring your stencil. Now I'm only going to use a couple colors just for sake of being on camera and not keeping you guys here forever until you get the idea. And then maybe I'll do up here. And you want it to be quite chalky. And this is just a regular piece of cardstock I'm using. And then maybe I'll do this right here. Now, if you have colored chalk in a uh, container like from you know the dollar store or whatever it'll work the same just use your chalk sticks you know and color it in the same um next I shall use let's do some turquoise now, I'm not even going to change my little cotton ball and I'm just going to go in Give it a blow. Do some over here. You can tell this is more on the, the turquoise is more on the green side than the blue. Um, how about some orange?
and do this bad boy right here, orange. And if you want to mix colors, like since this is a lighter orange, I can go into the darker orange and just go around the edges. So it gives it a little bit more, you know, it's whatever way you want to do things. You can see my stickiness isn't sticking down as much. So it's making it a little bit harder, but you get the point. And let's go for some, um, some pink. I'm pushing hard because I'm trying to get as much as that, you know, as much as the pink can get on there. And you can even do a little swipe in your green, you know, whatever you want. Blow. Some of us really like to blow. And then how about some dark purple? thing what color can we use what color can we use gee it would be it would be helpful if I would go in and like fix I don't even know what the heck color that is fix the ones that fell out one of these days I shall but let's use I dropped it on the floor and because all my you know my animals are all down here <laughs> Um, and then I had to pick it all up and all the pieces and there's of course cat hair and dog hair in it. I'm not ashamed. I'm an animal lover. Stuff happens. We'll do this. I'm supposing that goes there. I don't know exactly what color that is. Um, all right. We got some pretty cool colors on there. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. We'll just kind of go with this teal for right here. I know it's not a big deal. I'm just doing a demo. Okay, so I'm gonna put that chalk back. And Later on, try to remember to do it, fix it, give it a blow, pick up your stencil, and you see you have this very cool, which is a very cool thing that you can do, and then spray uh, fixative on it, and then go from there in your journal. You can use colored pencils, you can use watercolor, whatever you want. But I'm blowing to get all those extra crumbs off. I'm just going to lay that stencil there. I'm going to take my clay. Now what I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut around, leaving a little bit of a thing. And what you're going to do is you're going to set this. My dogs hear me talking. They're going to come down there like... Who is she talking to? She's crazy. Now this isn't as as uh, long as I want it to fit the piece of paper. It doesn't have to be no, but I want to kind of get on there. Plus you can tell my white is kind of, um, you know, dirty, but that doesn't matter. And yeah, we'll turn it this side. That's not so much better either. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this, this side down lay it down and we're going to burnish it. Now, 
furnish it good. And that just means using your hands, pushing it down on there. If you have a tool um, as a bone, um, you know, one of these or a credit card um, would work just as well. You just kind of want to. Now, you do not, what you want to do is you want to bake this with this paper on it. But before you do so, you want to go in and kind of cut off. I'm just going to use my credit card here. You just kind of want to cut off that extra clay. So you don't have it hanging out. We burnish. Now, what you would do is go and you would bake this according to your instructions on your clay, which is usually like 265 uh, USA oven time. I don't get the whole conversion Fahrenheit, but I don't know what all that stuff is. But that's what you would do. Now, you would bake it, okay, because chalk is really good with polymer clay. It sticks. So when you bake it and then you take it off, you'll get a better effect than I'm going to show you right now. But this is the effect you're going to get. And look how cool. <laughs> and all that is, is from that. Now, you get it on your clay. Um, and I'm going to hold this up better because it's hard when the thing's far away. But do you see how cool? Now, when you bake it, it'll be, it'll be better. But you transfer it, and when you bake it, it's going to bake in. So then when you take it out, you can um, glaze it and everything like that. Now, what I would do is before I go to bake it, I would probably make it into, I would go in and I would take my thing off like I just did. And I would kind of make it more into a shape that I'm looking for. Like, for instance, if I had cutter a cutter here um, and I wanted to get like rectangles, I could cut like this piece out right here that would make a great pendant and then when it comes out you can glitter it or you can even pour some embossing powder on here to give it texture um or whatever and what i'll do is i will bake this piece just so you can see but if you don't want to bake it and you kind of want to do what i just did you can do as i just did and all you do is you burnish it down Oh, it's so pleasant. You can hear my garbage man coming. Hello, garbage man. And then you would just bake it to your manufacturer's instructions. Again, you can spray water where you're, you know, when we're pushing down because it does stick like you just saw that little corner came off. But let me hold it up. And look at that transfer. How cool. And that's just a stencil. So imagine if you, I mean, and look how crisp and clear. I mean, look at that. Well, if it would focus, look at that. How great. And this is poopy, crappy white clay that I use for everything. So I am going to bake this and then we'll do something on top of it. But I wanted to show you this really cool thing that um, is really cool. <laughs> and you can use whatever stencil you want. So if you have... I know a lot of people are into the um, face stencils and all that type of thing or any stencil you want. You want to do flowers. So let's say we have, um, get out of there. There's no garbage in there. Oh, this dog loves garbage. Let's say, you know, um, you have a face stencil um, and you, let's say you just stamp it on a piece of paper and then you go in with your chalk and you color it. Now this is great because I also have these, I have these in another color of these and I have them in metallics and the metallics are cream and they are just divine. And if I could only find them, I'll show them to you. However, like this, for instance, I found in the glass section of stencils and Annie and I were talking the one day and like, boy, where they put the stencils out, if they would just put all the stencils together, I would spend a lot more money, which my husband wouldn't be fond of, but I sure would. But let me show you. Let's see. This is our clay. 
like my stencil here, if I turn it over, will the chalk come off? See, this is sticky on this side, so it's not going to do me no, never mind. That ain't going to do no good. But anyway, that doesn't matter. That's just a little chalk that'll wipe off with your paper. Um, but like I said, you can go to the dollar store and get uh, kids chalk. Dollar. All those great colors. I mean, how much fun is this? And if you have scrap, scrappy clay that's crappy like I have, why not um, do this with it? You know, you don't have to use white. You Think if you use translucent and then you did these colors on it, how cool it would look. Um, if you did black and did, I mean, there's so many options with this. So I really hope you guys try this. I haven't baked it yet, but I'm going to. And then we'll see what it looks like and how we go. And um, I might even roll out this piece and then bake it with this on it to see the difference, add a little bit more white, and then do one with out the paper and one with so we can see the difference. But that's just a little something, something I wanted to show you. And now, once we're done baking and we're done with this, this is not to be thrown away. Use this in a mixed media piece. Use this on a card. Trace it with, you know, trace these with black or, um, you know, whatever. Or, like I said, spray your uh, fixative on it. I love the Krylon uh, workable fixative. It's awesome. That means once you spray it on, in like five minutes it's dry, and then you can work on top of this, and the chalk will not move. It is freaking awesome. You want to spray outside, though. Don't spray inside. But, uh my gosh, now you have this piece of art, you'll have this piece of art, you know what I mean? And it's just awesome. So I'm going to do, this is the demo I did without keeping it on and baking it. And when I go to bake it, I'm going to bake it with this on it and I'm going to add more white and, and do that. And then we will see the difference in, um, did you like that little, um, little spin I put difference, um, with what it looks like when I bake on and off. So, um, I will go back and just go over these colors just a little bit more just because some of it did transfer on here just a little bit not going to do anything major um, and see what the difference is. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try it. It is freaking fun and the what you can do are endless. I mean stamps and you know you can do a stamp on your thing with chalk. You can do any stencil you have. You can make your stencils. You can do so much. So I hope you have a great day. Be kind to each other, please, I beg. You never know what battle somebody else is going through. Um, we should all be kind to each other. And I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this little demo. And I shall talk to you soon. Bye, guys.